Hey everybody, this is John Wood, and I am coming to you from beautiful Billings, Montana. And I'm sitting in East Rosebud Fly and Tackle, the rockinest fly shop in the country. So, what I want to talk to you in this video about is the basic starter vise. Now, I'm not talking about the $20 throwaway. So, I spend a lot of time on the internet. Um, when I'm researching things, I like to ask questions of other people who are experienced tires. And so I end up spending quite a bit of time on fly tying forums and um, pages on Facebook that are dedicated to fly tying. And one of the questions that is constantly coming up is, hey, I've got about 200 bucks and I want to get a really good solid starter vise that will last me for a lot of years. Which one should I get? Now, in a way, that's a loaded question because everybody's got their favorite vice, but not all vices are created equal. The thing is, invariably, these three vices, the Renzetti Traveler, the Peak Rotary Vice, and the Regal Medallion come up in every one of those conversations. And everybody's got their individual reasons for why they prefer that particular vice over the others. So I wanted to discuss the differences between these three vices because they will all hold a hook, they'll all tie flies, they'll all do a good job for you and within certain parameters and they're all going to last for a lot of years. So it's money well spent and every one of these come in under $200 for this model of the vice. Okay, of the three vices that we're talking about here today, this Regal Medallion, it's the basic Regal model, is the least expensive of the bunch, and it comes in at 175. So it's, uh, you know, a good 25 bucks under your $200 budget. Um, this is a really good vice. It's super simple to operate. To open the jaws, all you do is squeeze the lever to allow it to rotate like it is now, you just loosen off this knob right here. To make it solid, just tighten it down. It's real easy to tighten. It's a good sized knob. It's easy to get a good grip on. To adjust the angle, now I've got this slightly loosened. You use the set screw that comes with the vise to adjust your angle. Now that comes in handy if you're doing something like this big heavy duty hook and you want to be able to get in around it or if you want to do say like clousers which have material coming straight off the back of the hook and you want to flip it around all you do is rotate it or you can just keep it torqued down and flip that in the vise and you don't have to worry about that tail fouling like it would if you flipped it and tried to keep your hook level there. So this is very versatile design and it's got the ability to hold a very wide range of hooks. If I can pick up this number 24, I'll show you. It will hold it. The only downside to that is the jaws on these regals are slightly rounded on the edge so that if you want to tie really tiny flies, you're going to have to put your hook a little bit further in the jaws than I like to for tying like this number 24 uh, TMCO 100 hook. It's a little bit clumsy to get around. Now that doesn't mean that you can't tie midges with a regal because you can change out the jaws simply by loosening off that bottom screw and taking that off. The only thing is you have to buy the entire head. Unlike the other two vices, you can't just buy the jaws themselves. So my recommendation on the regal is if you're a streamer guy, if you're going to tie streamers or flies that are size 16 and larger all the way up to this this hook right here is a big hook this is a three-aught heavy wire tarpon hook 
from Umqua as part of their X series. And you can see, like I said, I don't have that torque down all the way, but it holds that hook very well. You're not going to have any trouble with your hooks moving around. Um, now you could if you wanted to, and I don't know exactly the price of the heads, but they're uh, a little more expensive than if you were just buying jaws. You could get multiple heads for your Regal Vice and have a full um, complement. They go from midge to monster and they even have a tube head. All right, next up in our three vice lineup is the Peak Rotary Vice. Now, there are a couple of things that I really like about this. The first thing is the base is ultra heavy. It's really heavy. And as you can see, the jaws are really heavy on this peak vise. It comes with a bobbin rest, which uh, if you're going to use the rotary feature for spinning materials on, that bobbin rest is necessary. But there are a couple of things about this vise for someone who wants to tie a full range of flies from, say, a tiny uh, midge or uh, trico all the way up to big tarpon flies, is that the jaws are slightly restrictive. And I say slightly restrictive because you can get this size 24 in there, but once you get it in there, like the Regal, <clears throat> it's a little bit cumbersome. You kind of have to, if you want to get it to where you can tail your fly really easily, you've got to put it up high and then you've got your, this jaw is a little bit bulky, so you've got a lot of bulk out here and when you're working your thread, instead of being able to go around uh, perfectly straight, you've got to go at an angle to get back to the hook, to the uh, bend of the hook. But it will hold that tiny hook and it'll hold it extremely solid. There's no way that that is going to pop out of there. Uh, the other restrictive side is at the other end of the spectrum. This jaw will not accept this 3 aught heavy wire tarpon hook. It just won't open up enough. You can go up to uh, about a one aught or 2 aught. Bass weight hooks will fit in here easily. And that's one of the things that makes this Peak a really good hair bug vise. If you're looking to get into tying a lot of hair bugs, this is a really good vise for that. It'll fit the hooks that you want it to. And it is super solid. The weight of the base keeps it stable, whereas our next vise up, um, the base is a little bit lighter. Uh, the other thing that I'm, I'm a little iffy on with this is there's only one tension adjustment. This um, rotary head, as you can see, is super loose, and the only adjustment is this plastic screw here on the bottom. And it works pretty well, but not quite as well as the adjustment that I'll show you on the Renzetti here in just a minute. So overall, this is a good vice, and coming in at 185 and uh, $40, an extra 40 for the midge jaws, it's not a bad buy. Um, it just is not as versatile as I like for a fly tying vise to be. And if you're not sure exactly the kind of flies that you want to tie, if you may end up tying some smaller, really tiny flies for trout, and you even want to go, like we showed, up to uh, some larger saltwater, you're going to be restricted with this. Um, and last up in our three vise comparison for basic vices is the Renzetti Traveler 2000. Now this vice comes in at $195.99, just under the 200 mark. But for my money, this is the most versatile vice of the bunch. Uh, number one thing being, it will hold just about any hook you want to put into it. This uh, heavy gauge 3 aught tarpon hook, I can lift the vise with it so you're going to be able to get all the tension you want on a thread 
And with a very simple adjustment, which is nothing more than this screw right here, I tighten those jaws down and I can easily tie a number 24 hook. And if I wanted to, I could torque those down. These jaws are strong enough that you can torque that down and if you put it in far enough, you could squeeze and actually flatten the shank of that hook. That's how stout those jar jaws are. Another thing that I like about this Renzetti is it's got a uh, dual adjustment for the rotary. Your secondary adjustment is this plastic screw right here. It's a nylon screw and that's for if you want to set the jaws to where they're not going to rotate, just torque them down. The other adjustment is a little bit more complicated. I'm going to move this over here in the center of the frame and we're going to take a look at that. Now as you can see, there's the shaft goes right through the head of the vise. And to adjust that, to get tension on it, you loosen these two screws so that you've got slack between them and the rotary handle. You just tighten that down till you get, you feel the tension that you want by tightening on that. I like to put the heel of my hand on the jaws, my pinky and third finger underneath, hold that, and then just tighten that back screw down while you're holding the screw that's closest to the head. Now, when I back this off, I've got tension so that I can spin that anywhere I want and it'll stay in place, but it's got enough, it's slack enough that I don't have any trouble if I want to use the bobbin rest and spin my material onto the hook. So, between the fact that these jaws are just as hard as all the others, but they've got a wider adjustment, you've got a true rotary feature, which is uh, Renzetti was the first company to come out with the rotary vise of this type, and every other vise that you see that has this rotary feature is a copy of the Renzetti vise. So there you have it, my choice of the three starter vices which comes in at $195.99 is the Renzetti 2000 Traveler. It's a great versatile vise. You can tie anything from the tiniest Trico or Midge all the way up to the biggest saltwater fly that you can come up with in this.